Good? All right. Hi, my name is Doug, and this is... Oh, kids. Uh, kids? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You are just kids. All right, so today we're going to uh, show you how to salvage twisted wire fence like this. And I'm pretty sure this technique will work for any kind of wire fence, like chicken wire. This fence in particular is just what you, you know, people put around their yard, but... Um, <clears throat> I've extracted some sections of this as, it, as the trees fell down on it and, and vines got twisted in it. So first step is to put it flat on a, like the, on a driveway like what you see and put it opposite the way it's naturally curving. So you don't want to put it this way, you want to put it this way on purpose. Okay. Now you basically, oh, yeah, with your hands, you kind of get, kind of get it flat. Then you, all right, boy, stomp on it. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just <laughs> get those knees up. Knees up. All right, let's see. All right, get off. All right, that's pretty good. Now, you flip it back the way it's, uh, or no, yeah, actually, keep it flat like that. Then, uh, watch out. So you get a big, round, long thing. I'm using a four inch PVC pipe here, because I had it left over from another project, but you can use like a big, uh, tree limb or whatever and you start rolling it around <clears throat> so you can see the, the the fence is not only bent in like this direction but it's bent in in this direction as well so you just kind of want to follow Whenever it, whenever it turns left or turns right, you want to follow it that way. <clears throat> so right now it's turning a little bit to my left. So we adjust. And keep it on the railroad track, so to speak. Okay, now, uh, boys, can you pass me the string and... What? No, I'm checking something. Alright, so... I've got some uh, nylon string here. Let's cut off a piece. Now, your best knot for this is called... Uh, it, so, you, you know how you start your shoes with an over-under knot? This is an over-under knot with an extra swoop. And this is called a surgeon's knot. This is how they used to tie off arteries back in the good old days. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start like I'm tying my shoes with just one over-under, right? So, can you see that in the camera there? Yeah? I'm going to do another swoop under. You could probably even do another one. Now, why am I doing this extra swoop? It's because the surgeon's knot will stay, will, will keep the tension while you do the, the another over under knot on top of it. So this is also called a granny knot or a square knot um, once you do the extra over under on top. But it starts with a surgeon's knot. Uh, that's a it's a very useful thing for even when you're tying your shoes like a lot of people They do the over under and tie it and then it gets immediately loosened again when when they do the two loops The surgeon's knot will make sure it stays tight just for just for the, uh, the Once you so you can finish the knot and, it's, and the base of it stays nice stays nice and tight. So anyway <clears throat> Boom, I'm just gonna toast it a bit with a lighter. This is nylon string again, so uh, this will just help it uh, stay in place for the long term. No, no big deal. You don't really have to do that. 
All right, so I'm going to do the same thing over here. Get another length of string. What is this called, boys? Uh, double knot? Mm, nope, Liam. Oh, wait a minute. All right, so I did three over-unders, or two over-unders, sorry. Three swoops, or two swoops, I don't know. So, oh, so you, so you can see, even with three, this isn't staying tight, right? And I want it to stay tight while I do the, the extra over-under on top. That, so, in that case, especially with synthetic rope, just do another swoop. You can see, boom, it stays tight, you know? Hands-free while you can do the extra swoop on top. Very useful. Nobody knows that except me, so now you know. Where's my lighter? Ah, here I am. Toast it. And. Oh. Whoa, boom. Look at that. See, now you salvage what was once a twisted, disgusting mess of a wire fence. And you can use this, again, at some point for patching up a piece of fence or a chicken coop, whatever you want. It's just a nice way to do it. I have another piece over there, but uh, I'll do that off camera. You know, you can make that out of something. Yeah, exactly. That's the whole point. So, thanks for watching. Dylan? What? I don't know, say goodbye or something. <laughs> Liam? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>